I don't even get an introduction or anything. I was your best friend in high school. <laughs> this is PJ, and we were BFF in high school. So. What do you have? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> that went kind of downhill during college. So, have any of you ever heard of God? I'm going to do a little bit of preaching today, talking about God. How many of you use Monit actively? About eight people. So, God is a Ruby version of Monit, except it's awesome. <laughs> and... But when I, when, we, when I first started looking at it to replace our existing Monit deployments, uh, there's no web interface. I mean, that seemed, that's a pretty big thing. And since that taking away a, a big feature like that seems like not awesome, I decided I would use my powers for good and make my own interface, web interface. So... This is what it looks like if your screen was bigger. It, it looks really crappy right now because I'm trying to get it working more than looking pretty. Uh, we have the basic things here, host name, and it'll also give your OS version, uptime, your system load averages, this space, plus we have the processes that monitors it. Um, if you don't know what Monit does, or God, it monitors processes, and then if one dies or reaches a certain memory limit or some other parameters that you can set, it will restart them for you and send you out an email and tell you what it did. So right here I have two. Uh, these are just Mongo processes that I have running in the background and if you click on them it'll give you the logs for the last five, five minutes uh, it's really ugly and it's just in a giant text box but it'll show you your memory limit and your CPU usage which are the only two things I have monitoring you can set up God to monitor just about whatever you want in your uh, from your applications and this way it also gives you a really easy way to say you want to stop a process, it'll stop it for you. And show you that it stopped it. This this is I, I probably I think these things are supposed to take like fifteen minutes. I have maybe like two minutes of content here. Okay. <laughs> so um I wrote this with Merb, and just uh, since God was written with uh, to use a DRB uh, server in the back end, it was really easy just to connect it up to that DRB session that started and send commands that you would normally be sending through the command line. Uh, I've got the code here for it somewhere. Uh, I'm sorry that I am very disorganized. Here we go. No, it's not. It's on GitHub. Uh, GitHub slash PJ Davis will have the code for you where I forked it from the God base. So it, it's really ugly because this is my first foray into Merb, and I didn't know how to do a lot of things, so I made them up. So if you guys would like to use it, it's God's a really good monitoring system, and we've deployed it across a lot of our servers now that are running Rails, our Rails applications. And if you'd like to look at it, commit back to God and make it better. That would be cool. So thank you for 